Every day, over 270,000 vehicles cross San Francisco's Bay Bridge, a lifeline built in the 1930s, now threatened by relentless saltwater corrosion and the constant risk of a catastrophic earthquake. Now, a $3 billion upgrade is underway, promising to transform this vital artery with seismic reinforcements, state-of-the-art lighting, and the removal of the bottleneck toll plaza for the first time in California's history. But with so much riding on the bridge's future, what finally forced engineers to overhaul one of America's busiest crossings? And what happens if this transformation fails? The stakes for millions and the entire Bay Area have never been higher. Gridlocked mornings, packed evenings, and a relentless tidal flow these are the rhythms of life dictated by the Bay Bridge. Each year, more than 100 million vehicles make the crossing, funneling workers, students, and freight between San Francisco and the East Bay. On any weekday, the upper and lower decks pulse with activity as commuters jockey for space, knowing a single fender bender or stalled truck can mean hour-long backups stretching for miles. For the region's workforce, time lost in gridlock isn't just an inconvenience, it's a direct hit to productivity and paychecks. According to transportation economists, congestion on Bay Area bridges cost the local economy $6.4 billion last year alone, with each commuter losing over 100 hours to delays. Freight trucks, over 650,000 of them annually, move billions in goods across the span, connecting ports to warehouses and stores. Behind every taillight, there's a business waiting for a shipment, a hospital expecting supplies, or a family hoping dinner arrives on time. The relentless pressure on this artery reveals what's at stake. Not only the daily commute, but the economic lifeblood of the Bay Area itself. Steel towers rise above the bay, battered by nearly nine decades of storms, salt spray, and relentless traffic. The western span of the Bay Bridge, first opened in 1936, faces constant attack from the environment. Salt-laden air seeps into every joint and seam, turning protective coatings brittle and allowing rust to creep along steel beams. Inspections reveal peeling paint and corroded rivets on cables and towers hundreds of feet in the air. Caltrans engineers, armed with ultrasonic gauges and drones, chart weakened connections and hidden decay, documenting the fight to hold corrosion at bay. But rust isn't the only threat. The bridge stands just five miles from the Hayward Fault and 12 from the San Andreas, two of the most dangerous fault lines in North America. Geologists warn that a major earthquake, reaching up to magnitude 7.5, could strike at any moment. Ground motion models predict violent shaking, with structures expected to absorb forces well beyond their original design. Under constant stress from both nature and time, the span faces a simple reality Aging steel and concrete must meet the demands of a restless earth. Each new assessment adds urgency to the mission, a mission measured not in years, but in lives and livelihoods at risk if the bridge falters. A complete overhaul of the western span's upper and lower decks is now underway, a feat rarely attempted on such a scale, especially atop an active superstructure. Crews are stripping out every inch of aging concrete and steel from the traffic decks, section by section, with thousands of tons of material hoisted out over the water. The original 1930s deck system, battered by decades of pounding traffic and corrosive salt air, is being replaced by a new, high-durability assembly engineered to support heavier vehicles and extend service life. Beneath the new driving surface, the bridge's original rivets, more than 500,000 in total, are being methodically removed. In their place, teams drive in over a million high-strength bolts, 
each torqued and tested to modern seismic and safety codes. This isn't just a cosmetic fix. These bolts lock the bridge's steel components together with far greater strength than the original hot-driven rivets ever could. The new fastening system also allows for easier inspection and maintenance, a major advantage for a structure that must endure round-the-clock use and future earthquakes. To halt the relentless advance of corrosion, coating specialists are applying a four-layer protective system to the bridge's steel skeleton. The process starts with abrasive blasting to bare metal, followed by a zinc Reich primer that acts as a sacrificial barrier. Intermediate coats and a cutting-edge fluoropolymer top coat complete the system, shielding the bridge against salt spray and ultraviolet light for decades to come. The choice of this advanced lead-free coating reflects both environmental priorities and a drive for longevity. The top coat is rated to maintain its gloss and protection for at least 30 years in marine conditions. The lighting system, too, has entered a new ERA. Outdated sodium vapor fixtures, many left non-functional by years of vibration and weather, are being swapped for energy-efficient, long-life LEDs. These new fixtures deliver brighter, more uniform illumination, improving visibility and safety for drivers while cutting energy use and sharply reducing maintenance needs. Updated utility lines running alongside the lights make routine upkeep safer and more efficient for bridge crews working at dizzying heights. Each improvement here is designed to fortify the bridge, not just for today's commuters, but for generations ahead. Every minute counts in Bay Area traffic, and for drivers crossing the Bay Bridge, the stakes have always been highest at the approaches. Since 2021, a new generation of metering lights has taken control at the bridge entrance, far removed from the old Datama, old static systems of the past. These are not ordinary traffic signals. At the heart of the operation is a fuzzy logic algorithm capable of processing live data from hundreds of sensors embedded in the roadway. The system measures everything from lane occupancy to queue length, constantly adjusting green times in response to real-time congestion. It can react within moments to changing traffic, smoothing out the surges that once led to miles-long backups before sunrise. For high-occupancy vehicles and buses, the algorithm delivers a clear advantage. Carpool lanes and transit get faster cycles, letting priority vehicles glide through while solo drivers wait their turn. The intent is simple. Move more people, not just more cars. Traffic operations managers monitor a performance dashboard that tracks every variable, from flow rates to incident response. If a breakdown occurs, the system can reroute traffic lanes and update variable message signs in seconds, keeping delays to a minimum. A major leap is just ahead. The classic toll plaza, once a bottleneck of concrete islands and stop-and-go lines, is being retired. Soon, drivers will roll through at freeway speeds, their license plates scanned by overhead gantries equipped with high-speed cameras and transponder readers. Vehicles are identified and billed automatically, whether moving at 5 miles per hour or 65. All the old lane merges and weaving, the slow crawl to a booth will vanish. With the toll booths gone, traffic is expected to keep moving even during heavy surges, cutting idle time and reducing emissions. Fewer stops mean less fuel wasted, and for the thousands of commuters who cross the span daily, those saved minutes add up. The shift to open road tolling and intelligent metering is not just a technical upgrade. It's a change drivers will feel every day, from shorter waits at the approach to a smoother ride across the span. For the first time, the Bay Bridge's traffic flow is governed by a system that can anticipate, adapt, and prioritize efficiency for everyone on the road. The Bay Bridge has faced hazards far greater than gridlock or rust. 
In November 2007, the Costco Busan, a fully loaded container ship, struck a fender at the base of a bridge tower, ripping open its hull and spilling 53,000 gallons of oil into the bay. Six years later, the overseas Raymar, another large ship, collided with a bridge pier during thick fog. Each incident tested the bridge's defenses, but both times the fender systems did their job, absorbing the blow and preventing catastrophic structural damage. Yet years of salt water, tidal surges, and repeated minor bumps have left those same fenders battered and outdated. According to marine protection engineers, today's cargo vessels are larger and heavier than ever. A direct hit from a modern ship could have consequences. The old barriers were never designed to withstand. That risk is driving a $100 million fender rehabilitation project set to overhaul every line of defense around the piers. The new fenders will combine advanced energy-absorbing materials with expanded impact zones, designed to keep both the bridge and the bay's shipping lanes safe for decades to come. But threats don't just come from the water below. On the approaches to Yerba Buena and Treasure Islands, seismic retrofit crews are working to bring eight ramp structures up to the latest earthquake standards. These ramps, perched on unstable fill and aging supports, run just miles from the Hayward and San Andreas faults. The retrofit chief, drawing on lessons from past quakes, is adding reinforced retaining walls and flexible joints able to absorb violent shaking. Completion is targeted for late 2026, with new safety features aimed at preventing collapse or blockage, even in a major event. Layer by layer, these upgrades are building a multi-hazard shield, one that stands ready against collisions, quakes, and whatever else the bay can throw at it. Starting January 2026, crossing the Bay Bridge will cost a little more each year, the Bay Area Toll Authority, facing rising construction costs and urgent infrastructure needs, approved a series of toll hikes, 50 cents annually through 2030, pushing the fast track rate to $10.50 and invoices up to $11.50. The plan isn't just about keeping the lights on. It is projected to raise $2.3 billion over five years money earmarked for everything from structural preservation to high-tech upgrades across all seven state-owned bridges. The finance director, poring over spreadsheets in a windowless office, must weigh the daily hardship for families against the reality of mounting repair bills and costly interest on borrowed funds. Pandemic-era revenue losses, surging material prices, and a growing roster of preservation projects have left little choice. Delaying action, the spreadsheets show, would double costs in interest alone. The new tiered toll system offers a break to electronic fast-track users, nudging drivers toward digital payments while collecting extra from mailed invoices and license plate accounts. Yet the bridge's legacy is more than steel and numbers. Out on the cables, a public art curator oversees the Baylight's 360 installation, a 2025 relighting of the bridge's iconic nighttime display. The LED artwork is not just a spectacle. Every cable inspection required for the lights also serves as a safeguard, supporting the ongoing monitoring vital to the bridge's health. Toll dollars, once just the cost of a commute, now fund a future where safety, sustainability, and public experience are intertwined. The result is both a physical investment in the bridge's bones and a cultural one in the city's identity. For the people who cross it and the generations that follow, these choices shape what the Bay Bridge will mean tomorrow. Every year, over 100 million vehicles cross the Bay Bridge, an artery built in the 1930s now facing the demands of a modern metropolis. This $3 billion upgrade tackles decades of corrosion, seismic risks, 
and growing congestion with a mix of advanced engineering, full deck replacements, over a million new high-strength bolts, and the elimination of bottleneck toll booths. The installation of metering lights and open road tolling aims to reduce delays and emissions, while a $100 million fender rehabilitation will better protect the bridge from future ship collisions. Yet, some questions remain, like the full timeline for completing maritime protections and the long-term impact of annual toll increases, which are projected to reach $10.50 by 2030 for fast-track users. As these projects move forward, public documents confirm the Bay Bridge is set to remain both safer and more efficient. The evidence is clear. These upgrades are not just repairs, but a blueprint for the bridge's continued role as a critical link in the Bay Area's future.